Welcome everyone to today's video. My name is Dimitri Dimitrov from the Dimitrov Boulet Piano Duo. And today I want to keep it very short because no excuses. I just want to keep it very short and talk a little bit about playing octaves. Let's get started. I see a lot of people out there who have problem playing octaves and I can understand the hand stretches. So it creates tension and it's difficult. Some people even who have smaller hands have trouble reaching octaves. And so I wanted to address the issue and give you a few things to think about when you are practicing. So that can help you feeling better and better with your octaves and getting better, of course, with that. The first thing I want to tell you is that if the biggest interval you can reach is a seventh, then no matter if somebody tells you that you can stretch your hand and make it bigger and play an octave, that's not true. You might hurt yourself, so don't do that. You just have to avoid playing pieces uh, that have octaves because it's not going to be possible or you have to do some adjustments with the piece. If the maximum you reach is a seventh, it's impossible. Your hand is not going to get any bigger unless you're a child, of course. There are a lot of people who injure themselves, so don't do that. Now, if you're a person that's, I'm saying this because if you're a person who can barely reach an octave or reaches it, but it feels a little bit tension, that's okay. You can train actually the flexibility of your hand, especially if you're not used to. I see a lot of people out there who, for them playing an octave is for me playing a ninth. And I can tell you that if you feel tension with that, you can train that. So that's something physical. That's something that you can just train. You don't have to give up because if you give up easily, you are not going to reach the maximum potential of the size of your hand and the flexibility of your hand. So I wanted to start the video with that. Make sure that you just stretch a little bit and play the octaves. I'm showing ninths at the moment just because that's that's what it feels for me to play a ninth. Make sure that you push through. There is, there is a certain physical aspect to piano playing that needs to be overcome. That's the theory I wanted to cover before I go to practical exercises. Now, what, the first practical exercise, exercise that you can always do is you have to understand that you have to balance your octaves. I, I have two examples here. One is a Cherny Etude. One of my students is playing Cherny Etude. She knows who, um, who she is and she might enjoy this video, but there's a lot of people, of course, who play octaves and I've had a lot of students who played pieces with octaves. That could be useful. Always balance your interval, right? An octave is an interval like any other and you need to balance it. Like for example, when I played the Hungarian Rhapsody by Liszt, you can hear Maybe you don't know, but what you hear is an upper note that's a little bit louder than the lower note. I don't play. You don't hear the thumb that much. The same is if you play this etude. The left hand, I make sure that my pinky Because if I play the thumb too loud, so it depends on the piece, but very often you would want your upper from, you, you need to think from the outside to the inside. So always have, if you have a passage similar to this, make sure that you have the upper notes louder than the lower notes. And you can do exercises like this. You can pick the, the pinky and you can practice only the pinky with the right fingering. That's actually important. So when you have black keys, of course, you play them with the fourth finger. And then you exercise only the pinky. The same is with the left hand with this piece by Czerny. And if you do that and then you reverse and you play soft the thumb the same with this you're going to teach your hand how to behave properly and you're going to have wonderful balance now 
if you are able to speed this up and play a little bit faster, you will see wonderful progress with your octaves as well. If let's say that your pinky is not strong enough and you feel some tension, I would recommend taking some dumbbells and just doing some curls with your dumbbells. For example, I use 10 kilograms for my pinky, but you can start just with a few hundred grams. So that's one of the practical exercises. Separate, separate the fingers, practice only the pinky, then only the thumb with a different sound. Now, the next exercise is actually similar, but you're going to do something else. You're going to stretch your hand. So you're going to basically play more or less in the position that you're going to play later the octaves. In the first exercise, I relaxed my hand. I didn't bother stretching it. I just did this. As you can see, my thumb is not really on the C. It was a little bit more close to the hand. The same here. You can see also that my hand is not completely stretched. I would recommend that also when you get comfortable with the exercise that you make it a little bit more difficult and you stretch a little bit your hand and so when you're playing the octaves the upper note let's say the, the fifth finger stretch a little bit the same with this one just a little bit of stretching so you can get used to because later when you play the octaves, you already applied some pressure, you applied some tension, that, that will bring tension to the hand because you want your hand to overcome that physical tension in a, of course, very gentle way. So these two exercises you can do and you'll see wonderful, wonderful result with that because I remember I'm giving you things that I, I, that I did myself and I still do when I play octaves sometimes, if I have a difficult passage, I would go to those exercises. Now, the only thing at the end of the video that I want to say is that whenever you have pain, serious pain, that's, that's really unpleasant, I'm not talking about a little tension or getting a little bit tired, don't be so spoiled, you need to overcome that tension that definitely is not a problem, it's not an indication that you're going to get injured, but if it comes a moment when you're playing and you feel pain inside your hand or something that feels really unpleasant, just be in tune with your body and don't force it any further. You don't want to get injured. And if your body is giving you signals that that's something really unpleasant, really painful, don't push it. Take a break. Do something else. See if you can approach the piece with octaves or whatever it is in a way that's pleasant for the hand. So a little bit of tension is okay, a little bit getting tired, a little bit this kind of, you know, sometimes when I have fast passages, I have this burning sensation, it's not a problem. It's just the hand is not used to, so you need to condition it. This is what I wanted to share today with you. I hope I didn't make the video too um, long anyway. Apply those two exercises and enjoy playing octaves. You will see improvement for sure. If you like the video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and also subscribe to our channel if you enjoy watching our videos. You can follow us also on TikTok, Instagram and Facebook. For me, as always, recording this video for you was a great pleasure. Happy to share with you some tips and I will see you or we will see you next week again.